I finally decided to switch my browser and give something new a try. After hearing about the Zen browser, I thought why not, so I installed it, tested it out and now I'm here to share my experience. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, in this video I'll go over Zen browser, its features, performance and a lot more. But keep in mind this is all based on my personal experience using it. So let's get started. The first thing I did was downloading Zen browser from the official website and installing it. And it was fairly easy and only took me around 5 minutes. As you saw earlier, when I first opened Zen browser, I was guided through a simple setup process. It prompted me to input bookmarks from my previous browser, making the transition smooth. Next, I could select my favorite size to appear in the essential tab for a quick access. Finally, as you can see, I customized the browser appearance by choosing a color theme that suited my style. This straightforward setup made getting started with Zen Browser both easy and personalized. In my opinion, after many years of using different browsers, this was the first time a browser welcome screen allowed me to personalize it like this, which is a really good thing. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us create more videos like this. I've been using Zen Browser for a few days now and I'm impressed by its features. It looks very modern and it has some features that many other browsers don't have and I really like it. Here are some of the things that stand out to me. One thing I really like is the top bar including the close, minimize and maximize stay hidden until you move your cursor to the top of the window. This makes the browser look cleaner and less distracting while keeping everything accessible. On the top left you'll find the navigation controls including the forward and backward buttons, the refresh button and the plugins menu. Right next to it there's a three dot menu that gives you access to even more options and settings for customizing your browser experience. Right below that you'll see the URL bar where you can enter website addresses and search directly. Below that you can find the essential tab section which gives you quick access to your favorite or most used website making navigation much faster and more convenient. Moving on below that you can also find a panel that displays all of your open tabs making it easy to switch between different websites without having anything on the top of the screen. This layout helps keep things organized and allows for a smoother browsing experience. Another thing that I really liked about this browser is that on the bottom left you can easily access the setting menu allowing you to customize your browsing experience. As you can see opening and closing setting is pretty easy and you can just do it in few clicks. Besides that on the bottom you can find the download tab where you can access the files that you downloaded or the files that are downloading. Besides that you can access the profile menu, for example I have a main profile and I have a work profile that I use it on daily basis. I can switch between them easily and in just a few clicks and you can see I have tabs open in both of them. Additionally you can move the panel for example you can move it to the left, you can move it to the right or you can even make it disappear. It's up to you how you want to personalize it and I think this is a great feature that this browser has. Last but not least I want to show you the resource usage of this browser. As you can see here is the task manager and it's using this much resources with having about 6 to 7 pages open in the browser. That's all for today I shared my experience using Zen browser and I hope it gave you some insight. If you tried it or if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,